So in today's video, I'm back in the woods shooting mushrooms again, but that's not the purpose of the video today. Today, I want to show you how to do a focus stack. So if you didn't see the video, the previous video to this where I was shooting mushrooms, um, I'll pop a link up here. Um, I've done a focus stack on a couple of the images and I wanted to show you today how easy it was to achieve a focus stack if you've never done it before using Lightroom and Photoshop. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you the setup that I've got here. So, okay, so this is the scene I've got. The log chopped down, and I've got some, a couple of little fungus here. One big one here, which is one I'm going to be focusing on, and there's a couple of foreground elements here. A bit of uh, fungus, and then I'm just going to try and get take the distracting bits out just for the thing. I don't really want these back here because they're pretty much dead now. Um, but I also want to try and get a nice clean image. So I'm going to focus stack right through from uh, the wait for the cars go, right from the a little bit of moss here. Okay, hopefully the light didn't change too much through that range of pictures there. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to the car, jump into Lightroom and Photoshop and do an image stack. So we're back in the car, obviously, as you can probably tell. Um, I've taken those images and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to load them into Lightroom and I'm going to photo stack those images and I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to do using Lightroom and Photoshop. So I'm going to switch over to the computer and we shall load these images up. So you're just going to need to synchronize your folder to get them into Lightroom. And if you don't know how to do if you don't know how to use Lightroom at all, I have um, done a Lightroom, quick Lightroom, I'll say it's quick, I think it's probably about 20 minutes, half an hour long, um, a tutorial on Lightroom, and I'll pop the image up on the, I'll pop the image, I'll pop the link up on the screen, okay, and then I'm just going to right click, and I'm going to rotate uh, either way, left or right, again, right click, left again, and then now they'll all be up the right way. Okay, so where we put our hand over the over the um, lens just to signify a new batch of images. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to hold control and left click on all the images in that set. So it's quite a few. So we've got twenty images by the looks of it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to right click and then we're going to click Edit in and then open as layers in Photoshop. Okay, so that's. All the images loaded up, and there they all are. So, what we're going to do is just going to hold shift and click on the bottom one, which is going to select all of those images. Now, this is how simple photo stacking your images is in Lightroom and Photoshop. So, so the first thing we do is we're going to click edit, we're going to click auto align layers, and then what that is going to do that's just going to align all the photos so any tiny little movement that we've made like i know i was using a shutter release but a bit of wind anything that's knocked it when you're turning the lens to change the focal distance um, you can move the image so this will just align that back so every photo is in the same position and then what that's going to do is going to probably leave a border around the edges or one of the edges maybe a couple of the edges um, and then that's just going to be where the image is shifted to uh, correct its place and then we can crop that out okay so you can see that's aligned those images now it's actually not too bad of a job with the camera movement so now that we've got all those images aligned uh stacked up behind each other so every time we remove the top image you see nothing's moving apart from the light obviously so now what we want to do is we want to focus stack those images and Lightroom and Photoshop together do a pretty good job of that. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to go to auto blend layers. We've got stacked images because we don't want a panorama. Uh, seamless tones and colors. And this bit's going to be quite uh, tricky to do because the light was changing quite a lot. So this would be interesting to see how well Lightroom does on this. And we're just going to click OK. And then we're going to wait for that to do. It'll probably take a little while because I'm on a laptop. It's, it's a fairly good laptop, but it's still not designed to do this sort of stuff. OK, so... Now we've got our final image. What we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to click merge layers. And that's going to merge them all down to one layer. So give that a second to merge. There we go. So now we have it merged into one layer. What we're going to do is we're just going to go in and touch up the little areas that, oh, this is a very laggy computer, but we're going to touch up the little areas that didn't quite make it in the, uh, in the merge. Now, you could do this by selecting before merging the layers. You could do this by selecting the layer that is in focus. So, for example, the edge of this stalk here, you can see there's a bit of uh, blur there. So, you could select the bit of this image, the uh, one of the stacks that is clear, and then you can paint that in using a layer mask. But the way I do it is I use the clone stamp tool and then I just paint in next to my stem to where it is. Obviously I'm doing a really rough, poor job of this because I'm on a very laggy laptop, but you get the idea. So you just paint in the areas that don't quite look right. Um, yeah, like I say, it's not, not the greatest jobs because I'm on a laptop. But once you've finished doing all your touch-ups and, and tweaks, you click on File and then click Save. Go back into Lightroom. So then when you go back over into Lightroom, you'll see that the file appears for some reason next to the one on the end. So this is now your merged photo. So this this is all your images. And now you can work on this uh, the usual way you would in Lightroom. You've done all your adjustments beforehand. Uh, you can do any final tweaks now that you want done to this final image. And there you go. Beautifully merged really quickly merged photo in Lightroom and Photoshop. Okay, so that's it for this video. So hopefully photo stacking is a little bit easier for you now. You can see how easy it is. Obviously that's assuming you have Lightroom and there are other ways of doing it but I only know the Lightroom way um, or the Photoshop way or the Adobe way. Um, thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.